He's odd. You know what his wife's nickname is? No, what? Booby. Booby? He calls her Booby. You know what I call my wife? What? Tit. <laughs> Not to her face, though. John McCreary. Oh, good dear. Dear. That's good. Dear. 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 I'm gonna have, gonna have a cigar to calm me down here. Mm. Well, Mike and I have been talking about the state of romance these days. Mm. Yeah. Are American women different than British women? I think they're more conniving than British women. You, you always think that American women are, are comparing bed or something. Well, with me, of course, it's a fantastic performance yeah. is given. So, always marry, um, always, oh, oh, a great belief I've got, marry beneath you. Yeah. It's a great beneath. In other words, never marry an intelligent woman. How about now? No, Mike. I'm not too impressed with this rowing here at all. Do you have any of that uh, ointment? My, uh, my fingers get really itchy. Take it easy, Mike. If you row too loudly or too hard, you disturb the fish. How long have you been married? Okay. Booby? Booby is me? Well, well uh, too long. I, I keep quiet about, about how long, but a good few years. She does all the driving. Mm -hmm. She's very lucky she has all the cleaning jobs to do. There are... the Booby's unintelligent, but never marry a clever, bright woman who's a high-flying businesswoman, a high-flying ninny in her, her profession. Because th then you've got this equality nonsense. And of course, you know, once, once you get into that, and you, give, you think women are equal, then you've got the rows and the arguments, and it's, it's all very unpleasant. We would never say, shall we go to the cinema, or shall we go to the theatre? I say, right, we're going dog racing, off we go to the Greyhound track. I can oh. see why you don't argue now, because he doesn't get a chance. <laughs> well, you don't take, well, it, you it, don't it, stop to breathe. If that's the system, it works, yeah. What are the odds that, uh, that love is going to work for a man like Mike or myself? Well, looking at you, it is a hopeless task. You know, you look older than Mick Jagger, so it is absolutely, it is a desperate task. You imagine any woman just looking at you. Maybe you're a, absolutely a monster in bed. That I don't know. But you would have to be extraordinary. But I don't see how you'd ever get a woman there. I can't see any woman voluntarily going with you. Now, I'm not in any way insulting you. I'm just trying to give you the... I, no, 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 I'm giving you the truth. I'm trying to tell the truth. That was clearly an insult. No, 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 it was not an insult. It was the truth. I can't believe any woman even looking at you. Now, the other chap behind you, well, he's got dark glasses on, that's a bit of a help. But, um, I don't know, he's, he looks a bit overweight to me, quite well, frankly. Well, fucking shoot this guy! <laughs> no, no, no. Now! <laughs> I'm telling you, the romance of travel is gone, Mike. You take the high road, I'll take the low. I'll be in Scotland to four ye. No, I won't, because I'll get off at the wrong exit and end up somewhere on the outskirts of Glasgow in some place like Govan, and some drunk Celtic supporter wearing a sombrero will be kicking the shit out of me, and then I'll fall into a big bucket of syringes and get hepatitis B. So my advice is if you come to a fork in the road, take it.